All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Duck Call Room. Hey! We're here. That's it. Where else would you rather be? Goblin? I need a cup of coffee. <laughs> Goblin, you should have done that before we, we started. No, yeah. Now we're rolling, son. That's right. We're on a... But you're a grown road. man. If you need to get up and go get you some, go do it. Well, I, will. I dare you. Leave you leave your pile of no, snacks there get... unguarded. Do it. I thought that was a walnut, but it's not. It looks like a walnut. <laughs> it does, don't it? <laughs> is it what cauliflower? It is a walnut. <laughs> it is a walnut. That's what I thought. <laughs> Stay tuned later in the ads for what yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. We're having a trouble identifying all the good stuff in there. Hey. It's good, dude. Got one. What'd you get Miss Paula for her birthday? I know she celebrated one too, huh? Hey. I got her some of them. She wanted some some of them. What's that called? On yawning where the leaves don't get in it. Oh, gutters. Gutter? Oh, leaf. A gutter guard. Yeah. Leaf card. Leaf card. Mm-hmm. That and I got her some airs. Never mess with your Some gutters errors? again, boys. He got her a dozen arrows. Oh, I thought you said mirrors or errors. Arrows. 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 Like bow and arrow. Shooting your bow and arrow. Yeah, bow and arrow. Sticking string. Yeah. Man, you live in a dream where birthday presents are arrows and broad arrows and deer targets. And... I buy candles. What would oh, you buy? <laughs> a new point, six point mm-hmm. five, three more. Yeah. yeah. Get me a gun. There you go. I got Alice in a fishing pole one time. How'd that go over? I got Brittany a vacuum cleaner. I've done that. Her idea, not mine. It was hers. Oh, it was mine. Yeah. It was kind of weird. Paula wanted a lawnmower one time. (laughs) My dad got my mom a backpack blower for Christmas one time. She fired up, wasn't she? It was mixed reviews. Mixed reviews. (laughs) Mixed reviews. She used a lot, though, for how much she complained about that being her Christmas (laughs) present. (laughs) <laughs> just kidding she was fired up about it uh lord have mercy well look we got mother's day right around the corner don't forget you only, you got less than a week now Good to grief. get you get your mom something for, Ooh, for mother's, mother's day, mother's day. So. and your wife yeah they're first too, one well, they're too second. young huh they're too young to get her something i'm aware <laughs> you gotta do it yeah i gotta take care of it boy it's anniversary then her birthday and now mother's day but see you're done i'm running out of money well, I, I'm the same way. It's at my birthday, Mother's Day, anniversary, but it's all within a month of each other. But then I'm done for a while, you know? Till Christmas. Yeah. That's me. I actually till pre-duck season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Walk in there with that get-me-over gift to the end of it, and then you, the gift after duck season is always bigger than the one prior. So Christmas is easy, though. I just get her broad heads and bullets, and she's happy as a lark. Broad heads and bullets, boys. Man, Hashtag goals, man. Mm-hmm. That's goals. B and B. That's that's a good time. You ought to see your eyes when she about pulls back in, bed. <laughs> opens that and sees this broad head. Hot heads and bullets. She gets her bow and goes outside and shoots. <laughs> well, what are you getting her for Mother's Day then? I don't She's know, a mom. I to think about it. Now, Johanna, that's her job now. Wait, what? Like, isn't there an age where like you don't have to buy? Your wife's stuff, the kids are in charge of that? Yeah, I think it's 60. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. See, that's why I asked somebody older and wiser than myself. <laughs> so you're still on the hook? No, I turned 60 in September. Oh. I'm off the hook. No, so this will be your last one. Yeah. Because you ain't 60 yet. Yeah, I'm t- I turned 60. Oh, September. I thought you said you turned. You, you're, yeah, turn and turned is not very different in your vocabulary. Because I can't tell if it's turn, turn, t- turn. Turn, turn, turn. You can't figure it out. Turn around. Hey, I did figure out what's the cause of dry skin was. Okay. Towel. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. Goblin's He's working back. all the time, boys. Uh, I'm here to tell you. He's Goblin, working all the time. Goblin is back. Cy, si, what are you getting Christine for Mother's Day? Nothing? Oh. She's got a checking account. She oh. get what she wants. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, we're in the room. J.D., we're in the room with a bunch of hopeless romantics. <laughs> well, hey, we yeah, all right. Pick it out. Well, suck. hey, if I pick it out and then she don't like it, I just, you know, yeah, don't bother me. If mm-hmm. I pick you out something and then you, you run your mouth on it, all right, now, you know, get enough It's kind of like again. when somebody cooks you a cake and you tell them it's trash, but then they bring you another. Well, no, no, hey, no, hey, that's one of the things. Look, if you, if you just eat junk, 
Okay, don't ever critique it and say, well, baby, it was a little, didn't have enough salt, didn't have enough this, didn't have, it wasn't right. Well, you're going to eat bad food all your life. So the Robertsons are very good about critiquing what they nice eat. Get in there and cook it yourself. <laughs> hey, no, that's not an option. You're going to get told. That's what Paula told me. That's well, what she that's said. not an option. With some, with some marriages, that's an option. And look, whatever works for you is fine with me. My grandma always told me, you either going to eat it or you're going to wear it. I never understood what wear it meant. <laughs> so I just ate it. It just sounded like something I didn't want to well, have. Well, I would just fix say most grandmas, when yeah. they cook something, it's good. Yeah. But she always said, she said you're either going to yeah. eat it or hey, you're you going to wear you it. You got two I choices never, here. You can eat it or wear it. Yeah. I didn't know wear what wear it, it means. Hey, she'll throw it on you. But it sounded bad. That's so why I just it drips on your chest when you eat it. And that's when you get to eat it and wear it all at the mm -hmm. same time. I, I'm one of them, one of them. So after I eat, I got to change my T-shirt. It's always on the right it's side. All, it's you, always all over my T-shirt. Ain't nothing on the left. Well, it's always good. <laughs> you know, that's tell you I'm eating a lot of good, juicy food. Yeah. You let it just hang around in your mustache up there? Oh, hey, no. I got to clean, clean up everything else after I eat. <laughs> Go wash my face. Take a, take, Put another shirt on. God, when you gonna be all right, old buddy? Mm -hmm. I just mm -hmm. He still, he's done cleaned that pile. He up, reminds boy. me of like a horse with a feed bag. That's what he looks like. Because he, he, for some reason, shoved them all in his mouth like he's gonna go somewhere. He was afraid he was <laughs> gonna, gonna, gonna get. Gonna I have him. to have a snack. You gotta have a snack, boy. Snacks are important. Keep that sugar regulated. It's a snack pack. I don't know. That's how it works. Mm. <laughs> I'm confused. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord have mercy unbelievable martin what are you getting um, Brittany for mother's day a, a bunch of pictures of her and the boys <clears throat> you know since we remodeled and like and whenever we basically moved back in we had the kids we still haven't really decorated the house the inside per se so rather than putting up old stuff i got a bunch of pictures printed out of her and the boys and good call um I don't know. It seemed like the least offensive thing I could do. I don't we, 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 mm. We've said we need to decorate after we had kids, and that was nine years ago, and we still haven't. So Yeah. Well, the good news is we didn't decorate prior, so it's not like I'm having to take stuff down. I mean, this is all install. This is going to be super simple. Super, I hope. I mean, I don't – however she wants to do them, but no. So you know what my move is, which I'm glad you reminded me because I need to do this tonight? I just let the kids say something, and then I go buy it off the internet, and it's always super weird and hysterical. And I'm like, there that's it is. What Allison, that's, that's what, what your they kids want. <laughs> One year, Ben's, uh, for her birthday, got a race car pants, which were just checkered flag pants. She's never wore them, which is kind of offensive. But <laughs> I just let them, hey, you think of something, whatever's in your head, let her rip. And hey, we're about to order. And we're ordering it. That's tight, though. Yeah. Because then the kids really got the mom. So they didn't get what dad wanted to get mom. That's yeah. their own deal. Every once in a while, I'll try and coach them. Yeah. With them red Crocs she has to wear all the time. I was like, he said he wanted to get you red Crocs. She's got red Crocs. Fire engine red, man. Really? She acts like she don't like them, but she does. <laughs> she but low key, she... I ain't got no soul left on the bottom of it. Yeah, no, she wears them yeah. way too much for something she called ugly. Yeah. She didn't call them ugly in front of the kids. She said, oh, thanks. Every time Brittany wears Crocs, I take a picture of her because she once said I'd never be caught dead in them things. And I'm like, um, <laughs> click. Motherhood does stuff yeah. to you. What about, no, it's pre, this is even pre-motherhood. <laughs> she slipped mine on one time. It's got a little fuzzy stuff in that I wear during duck season. I've it's never like, done the fuzzy Crocs. Oh, beautiful during hunting season when you're just wearing them to go step into a pair of waders. Fantastic. For I'm that. not a big Crocs guy. No, I don't wear them outside of that, but I wear them to the truck. And then to get in my waders. That's when I wear them. But she slid them on one time to go to the mailbox when it was a little cool out. They sing, I know. She's been to Academy and got her some fuzzy Crocs, too. <laughs> I said, now, hold right on. I said, now, hold on now. Hold on. You, you, you talking trash. That's funny. And here you go. You Now you influencer. That's what I am. Uh, you, <laughs> <laughs> you need to do that, though. As soon as your kids can talk, just say, what do you want to get mom? And whatever comes out. I hope it's like a. Chapo, or something. I hope that she they want to get her fishing baits or something hilarious. Me. That would be funny. Me. Yeah, no, that would be funny. Don't get me started on that one. Yeah, maybe an eighteen foot jig pole like Goblin was talking about before we got rolling. Sixteen, sixteen. Oh, 16. Black diamond baby. Black diamond baby. That's why he wears a hat. Sounds like a song. I thought that was black velvet. Yeah, it is for yeah. sure. Fifty-fifty chance. <laughs> 
Unreal. Well, let's take our first break. We'll be back right after this. I'm going to get coffee. Martin. What? What was the best piece of advice I gave you about having kids? Sound machines. Make them sleep. Make them sleep. Sleep, schedule them, make them, get them on a on a time period where they know it's time to sleep. Amen. And they do. And you know why they do? Cause Tell us that, why. Because of that hatch. What's the weirdest thing? Like, they would be there asleep. You know, they're twins, so we got to wake them up at the same time and all that kind of stuff. So if one of them wakes up, sorry, buddy, you're up hey, too. Yeah, hey, get him up. So, But if you want to wake him up very nicely, you just turn the hatch off. And he, he like... As soon as it goes off, he he starts like stretch. I'm I'm talking about it, it's wild. And then when they it's get wild, older, how quick they wake up. When they get older and they start getting out of bed at four thirty in the morning, think the day's starting. Nope, you got that hatch over there that gives them a green light. Yep. I used to have another type, most complicated piece of machinery I've ever owned in my life. Hatch, you do it on your phone. It's easy. Carter knows green light. I can get out of bed. The cool thing is, is even before this happened on the duck call room and ads and all that, we. They said, what do you think about doing ads for Hatch? I said, I'm in. We've got two of them. Thank so, you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got one that stays in their room, and we got a travel one. So, And you can do everything from your phone. Now, low key, the travel one's in our bedroom right now. I mean, Brittany uses it at night. So right. We listen to the ocean. This, this every going night. My, over my head. What well, you don't that? have any problem sleeping. So for the rest no. of us oh. that need a little noise oh. sleeping or sound, ocean, oh. thunderstorm. Oh, this is something that white will, noise will and, enhance sleep. Absolutely. Well, don't you don't know. need it. I don't need it. You don't, I can't imagine your sleep yeah. getting any better. So I think say, yeah, you know, I don't need it. You would be the one guy that doesn't need a hatch. <laughs> but for everybody else, if you have trouble sleeping, it's a life changing deal. I mean, and it's so easy. And for the, your kids, the app on the phone is. And I was fixing saying, if for kids, it will be. Life will be better if they go to bed yes, and wake the up. The word that comes to my mind it would be amazing. It's so funny, yeah. like at night before yeah. we put them to bed. So their room, we, we feed them right there in the living room, but their room's just right there. And they can hear that thing when I turn it on with my phone. And they start going, because we ain't even got there with a bottle yet. So you're talking about training. We got them trained. But look, the new and improved second generation hatch rest makes sleep better and more magical for your entire family. The all-in-one hatch rest is a smart sleep device with a sound machine and nightlight that grows with your kids. Babies love the continuous sounds of white noise and lullabies for a soothing and comfortable sleep environment. Look, I ain't, I ain't a baby. I love it, too. So this ain't just for babies. But toddlers and big kids build sleep independence with color and sound cues. The time for bed pairing alerts them that it's time to wind down for the night. And in the morning, a time to rise signal lets them know it's okay to get out of bed for the day, keeping those early risers in bed longer. Jackson, Praise God. Jackson is going to need that because he's always the first one up. And that's mainly because he's bigger and hungrier every time. But that's, that's all good. He's hungry. The rest has helped over 3 million babies and parents get restful sleep. That is true. I'm, I'm one of those parents. So it's no wonder that it's consistently a top baby registry item which is exactly why we put two different ones on our list in case somebody didn't want to get the big one they got the little one we got both praise god happy we did right now hatch is offering our listeners up to 15 percent off your purchase of a hatch rest and free shipping at hatch.co slash duck so if you're ready for improved sleep for your kids and yourself go to hatch.co slash duck to get up to 15 percent off and free shipping that's hatch.co slash duck I thought you had something you wanted to talk about. Oh, I do. What do you want to talk about? Mind-blowing stuff. Oh, what's this that? This is mind-blowing stuff. I think this is going to be right up size alley. This mind is blowing. So last night, we get we got our new porch or whatever on the back porch. This is like a new deck up to the side. Well, your house isn't a dump anymore. Oh, okay. That was, was that was your that was your child's words, That's not right. mine. Easy. That was, that was that was Carter's explanation. I mean, I know I don't live behind the gate dump. in the neighborhood, no. but that was geez. Carter's explanation. Not yeah, mine. that's true. Anyways, um, so we get that, and it's it's because our back porch was screened in. Now we got this area that's not, which is fantastic. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, I'm laying down, I'm looking at the moon. Have y'all ever just stared at a full moon for like an hour? I uh, have. Just I stared have. at it. Uh, oh, I have. I have. Yeah. That thing's moving fast. Well, I was, hey. Oh, well, from I was, there to there? Oh. Oh, yeah. You can, like, see it moving. Mm, well. When I was camping out, I would. we would look at it all night long. And just stare at it, right? Yeah. yeah. Which mm-hmm. was, I mean, I've done it before, but last night I was like, that's moving faster than I've ever thought about. And I was like, Allison, have you noticed how fast the moon's moving? She's like, well, how fast are we moving? 
666,000 miles an hour. That gummy bear was peach. How did he know that? <laughs> hey. Hold on. PBS. Hold on. Did you just know? No, that's not right. PBS yesterday. 67,000, but you added. Uh, hey, 666, the actual thing, they they rounded it up. 67,000. Well, you're adding one more digit. Well, well I, so I don't like 666. Hey. Give him benefit of the doubt. On the show, it was 66. That's 18, ain't it? 66. We're going 20, 18 and a half miles per second. Oh, no, no, look. Hey. I didn't This move. old man. We just moved 100 miles. No, no. no we didn't because we're flat. No, no. Hey, this old man, okay. Spare. From January 1, <laughs> uh, 2022 to January 1, 2023, I traveled over 5 million miles. And yeah. You know where most of it is spent? Asleep. In, your bed, in, your in my rec- bed recliner. or a recliner. <laughs> it's like I dumped it. I hadn't even moved, and yet I've traveled that far. That's right. You've turned Anyways, a complete circle. Yeah. Hey. My mind got blown last night by 18.5 miles per hour, miles per second. That's how fast you went. That's it. And I'm you didn't st- go anywhere. I'm still hey, going. I'm going that fast right, right now. now. Yeah, 18.5. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We've gone 300 miles since. I've started talking. I can't believe we just ain't sling out of this building. It's almost like there's gravity or something. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. What's holding us in these? Ain't no such thing as gravity. Yeah. It's kind of like we're round and not flat. I mean, it's bizarre, man. Mm -hmm. It is. It's It's almost like we rotate on an axis. Yeah. I I didn't know we were going that fast. I understand that, but hey, they can't show me that. Our scientists? Huh? They can't show me the axis that the earth is rotating on. Because we fly around this stupid thing all the time. Well, cut it in half. Well, hey, still, <laughs> they're still not going to be able to show you that. You ever heard of they the can... North and South Pole? Hey. That's where they're sticking out. <laughs> Do they ever catch any fish? I don't know. <laughs> Godwin said that's how a globe attaches. They well, just right hey. up there. No, that's what keeps it upright. <laughs> no, it's at Santa Claus's okay. house. No, no, Santa Claus don't keep nothing upright. Good grief. Except okay. the toys. Anyway, well, I he thought may, he, he might keep his sled up, right? I don't know why I thought we were going like maybe five miles per hour through the galaxy. No, we're going like twenty miles per second. Hey, it's a big circle, son. I yeah. said, well, and then it made sense once I got to thinking about it. Then I stared at the moon for thirty more minutes. Did it move? Yeah, a good bit. Did the you night had I any s- of them gummy bears? Hey, the night I, I stared at the moon, I was JD, just wondering. No, <laughs> we had a unidentified flying object. Uh oh! Go across the sky when we was watching it. That, that, that was a I know that was a t- as green wing tail. When was you doing this? This was when I was in in uh, high school. High school. Mm. They just any, came out with planes. Oh look! No. Mm. Was there any was unidentified brown beverages consumed during that? Uh, no, wasn't no beverages. No, he knew exactly what they were. <laughs> no, no, there wasn't no beverages consumed. But here's what was fantastic about it. Okay. This wasn't a. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, it come back. Oh, no, no. This was zip, 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 zip. It moves in nanoseconds. And we're watching it going. Mm. It was wild. And then. You've been what, messing around in forward, cow piles. Well, what was it? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> Unidentif- uh, unidentified. I was going to ask him how close, how close was the no, closest no, fertilizer then, tank. <laughs> fast forward about 20 years. Hold on. 20 years later. Yeah, yeah 20 Chapter years later. Two. We go on a duck hunting trip. In New Mexico. In New Mexico. Yeah. Okay. This is story number one. 30 a.m. in the morning, we on the Rio Grande River, which you can wade across it mm-hmm. anywhere. We're throwing out decoys, and in a 45-minute period, zoom, we've zoom, seen zoom. 17 different Falling stars, shooting stars, our our planets burning up. Egan, Which one you want to call? call you. I was there. I can I can hey, concur. That was one of them. Y'all got to make a lot of wishes. No, 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 no. It was pretty. Pretty wasn't the word. I mean, the big ball of fire that come across. Mm-hmm. It actually got up right above us, and then a little piece broke off, and then it was a giant yeah. ball of fire, and a little bitty that one was traded. Cool. And Phil said, "Boys." What we're looking at is a giant planet that is falling out of the sky, burning up. It's on fire. And then we ask the question, wonder where it's going to hit. 
Yeah, not us because it didn't come over. Uh, no, they got some Oilers out of Texas or out of the Gulf, and they went and blew it up, so we're all safe now. I just love how we can say one day today. We got to talk about the moon. That's how we got there. Yeah, and now we're talking about landing on an aircraft carrier. Oh yeah, Af- hey, aircraft carrier. Weird things happen on a full moon. Look, I, I wonder what the actual runway. I mean, it's a big ship, but I wonder what the distance is on, on the takeoff. Well, stand Google. by. Three Let's hundred. Google it. We Let's need to get on one of them ships. Let's Google it, and we'll come back and answer yeah. that question. Yeah, we'll answer that question because I'd like to know. Look, Martin, I've steered you wrong before. I'm not steering you wrong here. Chocolate-covered gummy bears, while it sounds strange. Oh, that's real dark chocolate, too. But it, 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 you're going to go, this is different. Then you're going to eat the whole bag. It's that good. Dun, Try them. Do it right now. I'm being Try healthy. Them. I'm eating a healthy, healthy uh, trail mix. A healthy. I've already ate a whole bag of these, so you ain't got to I didn't bag. add them on my order. This is all I can have. I ain't sharing. I said, he ain't sharing. But them pecans he, he, he were He's eating the whole bag, boys. Oh, them them bourbon pecans were fantastic. Hey, the dried yeah. mangoes. Hey, you need a prune. You need a prune. In case you're wondering what we're doing, we have some new friends over at nuts.com that have sent us some snacks, mm-hmm. and they're good. They need to send us some next week, too. Yeah. I hope they do. So go to nuts.com and buy some so they'll keep sending us snacks because yeah. Yeah. I really enjoy snacks. This is Look, now, in my sampler, I got the dead gum, bourbon pecans. Delicious. I got the uh, almonds, roasted, mm. salted almonds. My dad stole all those from my box. I don't know. Fantastic. They're fantastic. Prune. And <laughs> what? I don't know what this one is. Oh, he's eating well, trail mix. I thought. <laughs> got one. What is that? I, said, I don't know what it is, but it's that? fantastic. That's a peanut. I eh? like them. They're uh-huh. crunchy. <laughs> Good, aren't they? That ain't yeah, a half a peanut? Hmm. No. Have you never had trail mix? Not like this. Are there M&M's in this there? This is... No. Oh. Hey, watch this. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. Try it. This is going to be the best part. <laughs> <laughs> I just made a custom trail mix. Maybe we'll get a duck call room blend on nuts.com. A chocolate covered gummy bear? See? How good is that? <laughs> you never would have. That's like putting peanut butter on a bacon lettuce tomato sandwich. You don't think it'd work. But, but it does. There it you does. go. Look, and our friends over at nuts.com is your one stop shop for freshly roasted nuts, dried fruits, sweets, pantry staples like specialty flowers, and more. Their wide selection means there's something for everyone. Goblin? Yep. Hard on that trail, man. And they're mm-hmm. actually Johnny good. D legitimately hasn't stopped eating gummy bears. I've I ain't even going hiking. Stash. Them the bourbon pecans. If you like pecans, get I the love bourbon pecan. pecans. They are fantastic. I will make a pecan pie with those. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Mm. yeah, that's my favorite. One hundred percent. Yeah, guarantee. So you yeah. can shop a la carte anytime or opt into hassle free auto deliveries if you just never want to run out. That's up to you. That that's totally up to you. You can snack with satisfaction knowing that quality is a top priority mm. at nuts.com. They roast their nuts and pop their corn. The same day it ships, so they reach you deliciously fresh. Since 1929, they've been doing it the old-fashioned way. One taste, and you will know the difference. We love them. So will you right now. Nuts.com is offering <laughs> new customers a free gift with purchase and free shipping on orders of $29 or more at nuts.com slash duck. So go check out all the delicious There's a walnut in here. options at nuts.com slash duck. You'll receive a free gift and free shipping when you spend $29 or more. That's nuts.com slash duck. An oh, aircraft hey. carrier runway is about 300 feet long. A mere fraction. That ain't, that ain't very far. That's a football field. Yeah, that ain't very far. Could you imagine going like That's a football field. 600 yards. miles an hour and stopping in 300 feet? Yeah. Oh, it's shorter than that. It, <laughs> hey, it's shorter than that. Whoop lash, that's what I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. Hey. All, all your, babies, all when your them, energy. When wires, when all wires, your energy. Go through your saying, belly button them. and then back slap your backbone. Yeah, yeah. It's one of them deals like you're doing this. It's just, I guess they got really good seat belts on them, or, or you know. That's why. Well, they, just otherwise, it'd probably break their neck if it didn't. They had to have a When Calvin says innards, I don't know why. 
That just tickles me. <laughs> Innards go to your belly button and slap your back. That tickles me to death. We need to we we need to get Cy in one of those planes. No, no, I had I had two opportunities. Okay. Oh, and you didn't do it? No, no, no. We never could work it out. I had two opportunities that I was going to get to fly with the Blue Angels. Wow, that would have been cool. No, no, and it was. And every time, every time it was happening. Something always came up that they had to had, had to leave. I think that Cancel was a good. Lord, I think that was the good Lord saying. Well, no, no, because hey, I ain't ready for you. Yet. Well, no, no, because that's what they tell me, yo. Know, because you go pull, you go race. pull, you a bunch of few G's. Good. Well, no, no, because I hear it's not good for your innards. No, no. <laughs> well, no, no, because that's <laughs> yeah. what I told you. I, I met some people that you all want to do that. Yo, know, the big belt balloon tires on the back and the little bicycle tires on the front. I want to yeah. jump out of something up there. I want to do that. What do they call it? Skydiving? Skydiving? Oh. No. I would fly with the Blue Angels. No, I, I'll fly with them, but I ain't jumping out of a good place. We should go. We plane. should just think about it. If you mess up and something happens, I mean, it's over quick. You never know it. <laughs> we should figure out well, how hey, to do that. You, on what? You bring it, look, yeah. you're bringing that up. I started to go airborne when I was. It takes a dead. long time to fall 10,000 feet, but. And I watched a airborne. Well, yeah, but. <laughs> Terminal velocity of a human's about one. That'll be the fun part. Thanks, Mark Rover. It's the it's the stop that you know ain't real good. Well, when they do it, when they jump out of the plane, you get to go in like one twenty. When you're free falling, that's a song. No, no, one hundred twenty miles an hour. You like this with your arms out. That would be a trip. I know. Okay, I will. I will have to say that would be a trip. Okay, to actually free fall. You know, a lot of these days oh. I can somehow seem seem to guide the conversation. I give up the no, day. You're out I'm just going to let these two roll, man. <laughs> well, I'm no, gonna, no. I'm just going to keep tossing things. Yeah, you're, you're just going to keep confirming fun facts. Well, this is old boy no, I, that used to race motocross and do all that freestyle, Travis Pastrana. He jumped out of one without a parachute. Why? He the drummer for out. Blink-182? He just, No. He just jumped. He just jumped out, and his buddy jumped out with him. And, and he went and grabbed. He had fell for a while. Right and He's got to he... hold on. Yeah. So they was playing tag up. There. Oh no, that's right. Different Travis. You don't say. I wonder if they weighed the same, because you know if one somebody's heavier, nothing looks going like down fall faster. faster. Yeah, you go faster. I've never understood why people would go and jump out of a perfectly good airplane. My daughter tried it. I hear they're not that great, the ones you jump out of. So by the time you're up there, you're kind of ready to get out anyway. Well, <laughs> At least that's the case. In, I no. think. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't jump, but it's a last resort. It's not going to be like I'm leaving this thing behind. I mean, I, I, the only time you know, a parachute hey, deal. Here's hey, the only no, time no, I would I jump out of anything with you in the Bahamas. No, I'm not jumping yeah. out of an airplane. If I was going to burn <laughs> up, like I didn't go swimming with a barracuda. You think I'm going to jump out of an airplane? Would oh, you fly with the? Oh, Blue that's Angels? the one thing you don't Absolutely want to do. Absolutely, I would do we that. Did How many times do you think we'd throw up? I don't know about throw up, but I know I'd pass out every time they made a turn. Like, I mean, I'm. I, I give what? What are you that. doing? Nah. If you flew with the Blue Angels, how many times would fun. you puke or pass out? Well, it depends on what they do. I would not puke. They do it all of it. Well, I'm they saying if they run out. you through the gauntlet, I've never experienced yeah, that many. They'd probably throw up a lot. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Of course, the problem with me is I ain't real sure there's enough room in that cockpit of said Blue Angel for your boy to get. Well, it's limited. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's very limited. Like I'll probably getting my big rear end in there would probably limit some of the tricks we could do. I don't think mm -hmm. the plane, uh, the seat might have trouble. I don't think the plane's going to have trouble. No, yeah, the seat yeah. for sure. I <laughs> well, mean, my knees like, are going hey, to be up. like the race car, huh? Race cars. What they're, about them? they're built for the driver. Yeah, little tiny people. Okay, I mean they're tailor suited. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. they're little small folks. They're yeah. tailored for the guy that's going to drive the vehicle. How, how yeah. tall are you? You're not six four. Oh, you're good. Am I? Barely. Yeah. You don't want to hit the eject button because you're going to be close to the most. Yeah. Close yeah, you're breaking the most. Like, what? Oh, goose did. Close to the most what? <laughs> the what bubble, the bubble over your head where they close the cock cockpit. They call it the most. Uh, well, I'm just saying it'll be closer than most to it. Yeah. Closer than most. <laughs> you can be six I'm five. Most, yeah. Can't be six six. Michael Jordan was out. I'd feel that's he's out, boys. 
Well, I tell you and what, I'm assuming they don't thing, have a weight requirement, but they would make you run a lot. If that thing needed to come open, I'd want my head against it. I don't think so. I'd push it on just like. Because I think you got a pretty good rocket up under your rear end sending you yeah. up. Oh, yeah. Forward. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Just like that. that exit door on that plane. That's a rocket. That's where rocket you want seat. me sitting. Because if it need be, that door's coming open. You want, you want goblin chunking. That's right. I will make a hole. He will make a hole. That's what I told him, people. So he can jump out of the plane. Uh, yeah. That's what Perfectly you go good. skydiving for real? Yeah. Heck yeah, I'd do it in a heartbeat. That's what the Jerry first, the told first some, so many got to be like tandem or something? Like somebody's got to yeah. be strapped on to Godwin? That's what my daughter. I'd pay to see that. That's what my daughter done. I'd pay to see Godwin up under somebody oh, no, like yeah. this. Like, this they're falling. My daughter did it. But I want she, the video. I don't want to be up there out. beside him. Turn them. She was hooked to the guy that had the parachute. So that's putting a lot of faith in man. I ain't got that much faith in man. And carabiners and yeah. straps. No, thank you. I got that much faith in Jesus. But my man's name, he ain't Jesus. Mm. <laughs> it could be. I mean, it could like be Jesus. Hey but, you know. <laughs> but. I'm I, like Martin. I ain't know. jumping to have a perfectly yeah, good airplane. Yeah. yeah. I just, no. Nah. Now, if it's a last resort. Oh, here, I'll do it. Here I, we go. I will do it for one reason. Why? I'm fixing to burn up. I'll get out of whatever is burning up. What if you don't have a parachute? I don't care. I'm jumping anyway. Before I burn up, I will. Crash land and better than burn. Crash man. land and hey, and die. But I ain't going to burn. See, I, I don't know. That's why my goal is to go to heaven, because I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> it's hot down there. So I don't want to be hot or cold. Mm -hmm. hey, no. I just don't know about that whole like thirty seconds to a minute of falling to think about everything. I want it to be swift. Well, I guess burning. I would like to swift. do it for one reason. It's got to be well, the freedom you're at. I guarantee you, if it happens, you're gonna think that went yeah. way too quick. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Maybe you'd be over water and you can like pencil in and then swim I feel, back to the I top. can't do can that. You in imagine pool. ain't no chance I'm doing it in the ocean. <laughs> oh, hey. The no, problem with that, you don't want to get that water is then you got to tread water. <laughs> and there ain't nobody around. Then you're going to drown. Right. Well, no, don't you have to worry about drowning. That's what I'm saying. So you might as well go flat, yeah. face first and just yeah. get it over with. Just go ahead and make it a swan dive. Yeah. There ain't no reason to try to survive it. The good yeah. Lord hey, said Don't try up. to survive it. Hey. Don't hit, feet, right. don't hit feet first. Go ahead and hit feet If you're jumping first. out of a plane that's on you. fire, it's just your turn. And it's into the ocean or the water. Yeah, it's just, let's get it over with, man. I'm coming, baby. Here we go. <laughs> no more fighting it. Here we go. Anyway. Well, <laughs> sorry, folks. I don't know where we're at or where we're going, but full we'll moon. be back. How about full that? Moon. Is it? Full moon. Oh, it is a full moon. Yeah, full the, full the moon. bluegill are spawning. We'll be back. Yeah, right the bluegill are spawning, boys. I did watch a video about Mark Rober last night. Okay. Who's they that? sent an egg. Mark Rober. I you know who know. Mark Rober is? No, no. He's it's got Mark way Rober. more YouTube followers than us. He's the guy that did the squirrels in the backyard and made the obstacle course for him. No. Oh. Y'all have never seen the squirrel oh, obstacle No, course? I've seen that. I've seen that. It's hilarious. PBS run that. Yeah. No, that's good stuff. PBS run Hey, I'm serious. Peter, because look. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you learn a lot about squirrels from Mark no, Rober. No, no, no. Because he, he hey, did a I study. I know if they see you, they get steel. No, no. He did a study, and he would make all kinds of things. And then watch the squirrel, okay, figure out how to beat the system he put in where they couldn't get the food. Oh, it's look at hey, and it's amazing what they, what they, they they solved the problem. They trick. They got them dolphins to put bombs on the bottom of oh, ships. No, no, no. He used to work for NASA. Animals are pretty slick. Oh no. And now he just makes YouTube videos. No, no. That's I what I'd that. do. Uh, Look, hey, there he there, is. Right there's there. the squirrel obstacle that's course. That's well, turn it on. Let's watch it. Well, it's like 30 minutes long. So, well, and they what do, else he got to hey, do? The squirrels do some amazing things. They've there's a ladder. What's that green thing over? That's a slinky. A slinky. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. they were able to just jump across that because then squirrels yeah. can yeah. jump pretty far. But if they sat here too long, they'd be on the squirrel pole and he'd send them flying. You watch it, he put them in slow motion flying through the air, yeah. and you could tell they knew exactly what to do, and then they'd land yeah. on all four feet. Well, yeah, they fly through there. 
Oh, oh hey, they have to, there is a flying squirrel. Also true. Because he goes to the top of the tree, okay, gets up there, mm-hmm. bails off, and he's got, he's got, He's got a, a a flying suit. He does. Okay, because it's it's connected to his his arms mm-hmm. and legs. And when he does that, he he's got a flying out. suit. And he just. Yep. So does a squirrel have two arms and two legs, or four legs? Uh, four legs. Ah, uh, it's a great. No, I would say he's got two arms and two legs. What about, I like the way he voice mate. Well, then what about a deer? Does he have two arms and two legs, or four no? Legs? A deer's got four legs. I'm just wondering where the yeah. leg is. I say a deer's got four legs, a squirrel's got, you know, two arms and two legs. No. Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, hey, I, I would have hey, to ask Mark Rope. If you watch this show. Or four arms. They walk. Oh, no, he ain't got four they arms. Walk on oh, on. Well, if he's got an arm, he's got they a four. They run arm. on all fours. <laughs> Sorry. Nope. Two arms, two legs. So he's got a forearm. Hey, I like when they, I like when they, you're I got hunting. a forearm. So. No, I like when you're hunting them <laughs> and they run out of limb. They run on limbs, getting away from you, shooting at them. And they just, it's just about this much room between the next tree and a limb. Would you hunt squirrels if they could shoot back? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, if anything, I hunt, hunted back, me back. Nope. That's why he doesn't you know, go hey, hunting. If that happened, the human race yeah. would go extinct real quick. You made a pretty crazy uh, observation right there. What? If they could shoot back, you wouldn't hunt them. No. That's like all these people shooting people. If everybody shoot back, these yeah. suckers would quit shooting at you. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know, because, hey, when I was in, in college, I worked at the sheriff's office. I didn't know we were going there. In, in Rusted. And we had a guy what? in uniform in a cop car pull up at a 7-Eleven that was being robbed. Well, when they was backing out, they turned and looked, seen the cop car. Well, they started just shooting at the car. That's crazy. Well, hey, he was just laying down and stuck his pistol on just <laughs> He shot his own windshield out. And they asked him, so what are you doing? He said, hey, I just wanted to stop shooting. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Wait, she. It's a just, full moon, boy. Just quit. Just stop shooting. Mark Roper doesn't have any gun videos. <laughs> <laughs> but he does have the glitter bombs. Have you seen those? Where what the guy that? makes the fancy package and puts it on porches and then people steal it and then they open it and fart spray yeah, and glitter blows up. over their house? Huh. You've seen that. I've been the recipient of a glitter bomb. No, these you are have? like... No, these are bad. for These are for porch pirates, I know. But like when glitter bombs were first a thing, yeah. yeah. A proud recipient of a glitter bomb. Still don't know who sent that. That sounds like an ice cream something. <laughs> No, it was no good. It just shot glitter and confetti all over me. But you've seen that video, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Well, last night I watched one where he, because he, he used to work for NASA, he built a thing, took an, you know when you do the high school project where you drop an egg and you see if you try to make something where it won't break? Mm-hmm. He took an egg all the way to outer space and dropped it and it landed and didn't break. No. No. True story. No gravity. No. No gravity. He did it twice. But it no. fell to Earth? To Earth. No. Well, how did it not burn up? No. He's an, no. He worked for NASA. Don't ask no. me. I'm not that smart. No. How was it not a bowl it head by the no. time he got it had here? Eight Terminal shield. velocity, There man. you go. It That's didn't like I leave didn't the break. atmosphere, I guess. It, it was bold when, when it come back in, the, burned into the it whatever didn't show you call up, he it. Ate it. He failed twice, but he has the world record now for egg drop. Well, not just anybody can go to space. This is uh, mm. Mr. Rovers. He got it's a pocket drop full of egg. money, too. Yeah. Why is he doing yeah, that? Then then why does he live there? Yeah. yeah. Like, that's wild. I think that's where he started. Oh, that's his granny's house. Yeah, that's his backyard. <laughs> yeah, that is his backyard. Yeah, that's his backyard. I understand that, but, man, you would think a guy that, like, was that bizarre would want to be kind of out in some wide open well, that's spaces why there's three of them. testing. That's why there's three of them. There's tunnels underground. So he's pro. Has he figured out if city squirrels are smarter or dumber than country squirrels? Hey, what about them? We should invite him to do a squirrel obstacle course out on Phil's land, and then I don't we'll think really it's know. fair that Mr. Rover made an obstacle course that he couldn't complete. Oh, well, he did it easy. Hey, I'm telling you, it was impressive I'm watching saying, him. You get that to human size. You think he could make it? Look, here's what mm-hmm. got. He's he had pretty. He athletic. would make it. Okay, and look, they would figure it out like twice, take about three times, they 
They don't got what the keeps them from just going to this end? Well, figure this out. How come a bicycle can't stand up? Oh. Uh, I, what, what is it, J.D.? Gravity. Too tired. Oh. <laughs> Too tired. <laughs> I thought we were still on science. <laughs> I don't know why a bicycle can't stand up two times, J.D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I told, oh, I this told. is the most educational podcast in all of America. Ray. Yeah. Da, 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 sure. da. We learned a lot today. If yeah. you ever, I don't know, when you'd use half the stuff we talked about, maybe if you listen to Bobby Bones or something, they got little trivia questions. I don't, I don't know that either. See. We learned that Michael Jordan was 6'6 and couldn't be a fighter pilot. Terminal velocity of a human is 120. He didn't even need a plane to fly, though. And squirrels can make it from one end to an obstacle. Michael Jordan didn't even need a plane to fly. Air Jordan. There you go. Air Jordan, boys. But for real, though, how how come? I'd like to say. I'm about to blow your mind. How many views do you think that has on YouTube? 100 million. What? Probably. I'm yeah, I don't know. Why? Yeah. It takes that squirrel 30 minutes to get from one end to the other? No. 110 million views on YouTube. 110? I just wonder why the squirrel doesn't start on the end with the food. Let's make oh, it. No, 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 no. You can't do that. No. he's Hey, Mark Rober's smart. Wait, well, let's just make it 100. Does it not drop the food till they get on the other end? Like, I don't understand. No, you got to get to the end for it to drop the food. But he got it where you can't get to that end. Uh, it's all greased up uh, on that side. Like they ain't getting. Oh yeah, you gotta yeah, run yeah. the you gotta run the obstacle course. The only well, way I'm to the food. You, look, it would take them. You know, he'd build it. It would take them about three times. They'd figure it out, and he'd have to build another one. He named all the squirrels too. Yeah, he he. They would figure it out within three tries. Any of them named Sai? Nope. Fat Gus was there. It was a hey. It was impressive to watch. You know, he My makes. Uh, I'm gonna have to go watch it now. You yeah. should. Well, if you well, turn he, it on, weight, we can make it at 111. He made it with a <laughs> weight. If you stayed there too long, it would it would drop drop. You know, the weight would cause it to gravity would cause it to fall. So they couldn't stay there. They couldn't stop. So it's kind of like that show Wipeout. Yeah, squirrels. Yeah, yes, it's, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Does John Cena yeah. commentate this one? No, oh. Mark Rober does. Okay, that's it's a great funny. Job. It's funny as all get out to watch them though. It's worth a watch. Yeah. And there goes George. He doesn't go. I don't know if we're well, huh. here we are. Let's take another break and get in that inbox. We're back. Hello at duckcallroom.com. That's the inbox. That's the emails. If you have anything, send it to us. If you got weird things on YouTube that we need to watch, like squirrel obstacle hmm. courses, hey, we're interested. That's I, crazy. You know? You can't say that that's not weird. Like, it's incredible. Oh, but, well, I mean, yes, but still a bizarre thing to watch. Like, hey. it's fine. I, I get it. There's 100, 110 million other weirdos. That's cool. I'm going to be the 100. I could potentially be the 111. You would I'm going it. to watch it. It's very biological. So, no, yeah. There's also Squirrel Maze 2.0 and Squirrel Maze 3.0. Hey, not only that, somebody in Africa. <gasps> okay. Okay. They actually done research on wild cats, like the lion, mm-hmm. the uh, cheetah. They gave them stuff to figure out how to get in, how to get in a cage. You don't and want get them food. figuring out things. And I think, I yeah, think that, the cheetah was the smartest one. That sounds like making a dinosaur. Right? He was, well, no, no. He was the fastest. Smartest. Well, no, no, but he was also the smartest one. I bet he could solve a Rubik's cube. Well, no, no, they just it was wild. He had thumbs. I've never yeah. solved a Rubik's cube. I should do. But that. that's their scientists. Scientists are saying, okay, let's see what, let's see what their thought process is. Hmm. On boy, coming Chad up against when they, Rubik's cube. when they come up against different things, he knows how to do a Rubik's cube. Different situations. Who does? Nothing. Don't worry about the minor details. Uh, Johnny D, what's in that inbox? So what's in the inbox? Hold on. After you get through texting Chad, is it heavy or is it? You know what's oh. funny? Chad's idea was the email inbox, and he can do a Rubik's cube. Smartest. Oh, guy his son. Oh, not him. I mean, he may have taught his son, but I've seen his son do it. All right, first email. Hey, 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 whoa. Godwin and his fish fry secrets. Okay. What? All right. What's your secret, Godwin? Well, I ain't telling you. 
That's why apparently you already right? did. Um, Alec emails in Southern Illinois seems to be where he's from because that's where he fishes. He's been listening for only like a month and a half, but he's already been watched, binged, binged, watched all of them. Newest episodes. Two hundred and something of them. Say that ten now, times. What episode are we on? What episode is this? Uh, two thirty nine. Two thirty nine. Two hundred and thirty nine hours of his life he ain't got back. Hmm. Unreal. It's a hundred days. I'm not judging Alec. Quick math. I've been here for all of them too. Yeah. Uh, Chad can't do it. He was oh, saying. What's his question? Um. Anyway. He's confused. confused. Did you say you cook your crappy? He's he's uh, he spells it weird. With sour cream and flour. He's fished them in Southern Illinois since he was a little boy, and he doesn't think this is a thing. Has the price of eggs gotten this high? He needs answers. I don't put egg in it. <laughs> no eggs. He don't, so don't do worry about the price work, of eggs. Please. He does. He's wondering why. why. Here's, here's, I think my man makes an egg wash instead of using sour cream. Yeah. I think is where he, he must be. Yeah. Yeah. Sour yeah. cream is easier. Way better too. Yeah. 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 Sour cream is very way easier. You put up. You put your fillets in a big old stainless steel bowl. Salt, pepper, garlic. Mm, mix salt. it up real good. Praise the Lord. And then you get your sour cream with one of them big spoons in your drawer. And you whop you about three big scoops in there, and you, you, got, you got mix it, it mix it all up real good. You think you got too much? Get you another spoonful put in there, and then mix it up real good, and then put your flour in there. But while you're doing that, cook your fries. Let your fries be cooking. This is time thing happens just perfect. You got your fries cooking, then you put your you got your sour cream, then you put your flour on there. And I used to say. Keep putting flour on it till there's no wet ingredients. I've changed that. Let it be some wet, you know. And let me tell you, it crunches up like fried chicken. Three seventy five, two minutes. You feed that to your woman. You fish and get fishing baits, boat money, stuff like that. Stuff like that. I mean, I'm interested. I don't believe you. I'm a cornmeal man myself. Me some of them. I bet it's no good. You should <laughs> prove it. Or you can switch the sour cream and put mustard. Yeah, but if you use mustard, you got to get some Cool Ranch chips and put them in a Ziploc bag and beat them down to a bunch of crunchy and put that in there where you flour. I don't know about all I don't that. care about the crunchy stuff, okay? Me and Martin are the only cornmeal men. In I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a cornmeal. Or you put cornmeal on catfish. Brim and crappie, you put flour on. That's it. Do you cream. fry brim whole with this, or do you fillet brim? You can do I it fillet either way. Brim. You do it either way. Somebody catches big fish. Yeah. You can do it either way. That's what I do. <laughs> That's just what he does, folks. Hey, there you go. Don't hate the player. <laughs> Sorry, it ain't his fault. I ain't got I, time for bone. Daddy loved the bone. Daddy loved when I'd fillet. That centerpiece before behind the head to the rib cage. Yep. And leave the tail my, on it. Leave the tail it, on. My grandma he, made me cut that piece off every time I yep. played one. Mm-hmm. Every time. They like to put pull the bones in their teeth, pull mm-hmm. that meat. And they like to eat the tails like tater chip. Yep. I love a fish tail. I've eaten many yep. of a brim Praise fish tail. Or a dorsal yep. fin. So good. They're good. Mm-hmm. They, they, ain't the, mm-hmm. they ain't the tail. No, but they're all good. The tail's kind of like a crab claw. Yeah. You don't really know why you're eating it, but it sure is wonderful. But you pop that tail off just right. It got meat on the end there, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just like the potato chip part of it. Mm. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Nothing go to waste. Mm-hmm. Nothing goes to waste. Yeah. Bait all money, right. boat money, gas money. Go get me some more of that. That's what she's going to tell you. All right. <laughs> Moving on, John. He said it's what I just. Um, let's go with Ethan. Ethan's a young man, 24, from Montana. Wife and I just found out they're having another baby. Well, Congratulations. Okay. Whoa, whoa. So they're super excited, but they're stressed out. Uh oh. Because, Martin, what are kids? Uh, a lot. Little people. And Work. money. Expensive. Yeah. Work. Um, Work, time, and money. So, and right now he's works in youth ministry and 
youth ministers don't make a lot of a lot of cash, which is a fair statement probably across the board. Um, yep. She works too, but pregnancy's kind of rough on her, so they're a little nervous. He's not really sure what to do to support his family. Any advice? How do we handle money stress? That's a tough one. Well, I would suspect your ministry could help with a lot of that. But, man, get some odd jobs. You're a youth minister. You should have plenty of time, I would think, to... Well, you're in Montana. Are y'all mowing grass yet? I don't even know. No. But like, they just now budding up there. Yeah. I don't. I mean, there's got to be some stuff he can do. Side gigs. Yeah, side hustles, whatever that may look like. Uh, down here, a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people mow grass, but up there. But, I mean, we live in a world now you can do so many things from home and get paid for it, mm-hmm. like working at night and do all kinds of things. But I'm sure, wouldn't you think there's like an online ministry program, like, an outreach program that would pay him to like do lessons or something. I mean, I'm sure there is like ranchers are worming cows right now. Or you, you know, instead of worming humans, maybe we worm cows. Like what? I mean, I don't, you know, I mean, I think your head's in the right spot. Cause you're thinking about those things. Yeah. Normally people that get into trouble are the ones that just look up and say, what did I, Oh what, man, what have I done wrong here? Yeah. So you know, what's coming, you know, Get out ahead of it and make a plan of some sort. Yeah. Sigh anything? Well, I, all I would say was live within the, your means. Yeah. You know, some people that, you know, they buy stuff they should they don't need. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that kid having hand-me-down clothes. No. Either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ben's ain't never got a new shirt in his life. That's what I mean. Whatever Carter had before him. <laughs> yeah. All our start out new, but they are all various shades of white now. We are not the ones like, oh, that one got carrots on it, throw it away. No, they're wearing orange and yellow. and I mean, like, I mean, their white stuff doesn't turn striped almost. They ain't no the stuff they for off. you, though. No, they pretty much grow out of them at the same time. Waylon can hang out in them a little longer than Jackson, but no, they're. But we are giving our stuff to people who are having kids. There's a lot of people having kids right now, so. We just kids, man. we let them come pick whatever they want, and whatever they don't want, then we give to the donation. But you asked about it, churches. you got it, dude. You already yeah. taken care of it. Oh yeah, hundred percent. But I think there's a lot of there's the the world we live in is pretty cool because there's a lot of different ways to, to make, make revenue. Yeah, that don't require like you leaving home necessarily. So there's there's a lot of interesting ways to to make money that used to not exist. So I just think it all depends on how hard you want to work. Mm-hmm. Like, and one of the best ways to make money is to spend less. Yep. hundred percent. Figure out ways to scratch a dollar here, scratch a dollar there and take care of the pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves. Ooh, that's deep. Who's that? That's deep. You know who that is. Uh, this is your boy Clay. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah. <laughs> No. He says that all the time. Well, yeah, because he's had to worry about a penny. Oh, boy. Hey, man's got a plane. The dollars <laughs> took care of themselves. Uh, um, I don't have a Bible verse ready. Do you, has anybody got one? I don't know. How about hmm. taking care of some pennies or something? How about some financials? No, I, I don't. Somebody just sent me one, actually. Where's my phone? Where's your Bible verse? We got we to gotta wrap this joke around. Actually, up. yeah, a buddy of mine just sent me this. I thought it was kind of cool. He says, one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there's a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Proverbs 18, 24. And it says, thanks for always being a great friend and listening to my complaining. So hmm. that's a cool thing. I mean, when you get those kind of texts, that's an encouraging thing. Yeah. I, I've, I've known this guy for ooh, about 12 years now. A true He's, friend is to be cherished. There you go. I'll put it that way. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's kind of cool when you get those kind of texts. But be that guy. Be those people. You out there listening, be the be the people that get those kind of texts. But also don't be afraid to be the people that send those kind of texts to the one that matter uh, in your life. But that's a wrap on the most winding, meandering podcast yet. That's two dead gum biggins from Bussy Brakes. Uh, oh, that's big. That's I know exactly where that is on Bussy Brakes. I know. It's right there. My favorite part Ooh. of this picture? Biggins. Is this old boy on the back only got one shoe on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say the uh, geoengineering going on above their head. Yep. 
Look how long them. Look at the chemtrails above their head. That's just old. Grading cloud. Hey, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. MLF Pro in like 10 years. Colby Dark. Maybe then he can get a haircut. Awesome. No, never. We'll see you next time here on the Duck Call Room. We're out. <laughs>